Hi, my name is Christine Adam, and I'm a voice, accent, and communication coach. And today, I'm here to talk to you about what do your eyes have to do with your voice? And this is such an important one that I'm actually going to answer it over two videos. So this is part one. So first of all, your eyes tell us a lot about where your head is. And for maximum vocal production, we want the head to be on top of the spine. So the spine ends in between the ears, and we want the head to kind of be on top of that top vertebra of the spine and really resting there quite comfortably for maximum vocal production. And here's why that's important. And we're gonna do that, like explore that through negative practice. And we'll do that through just noticing what's going on with the eyes. So I'd like you to kind of adjust your eye line so that you feel like you're looking kind of slightly down to look out, okay? And notice that ever so slightly that just tilts my head backwards. So my head is a little bit off my spine in one direction. And now we'll just say, ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so just notice how easy or not so easy that was. And then what we'll do is we'll just go the other way. So we'll let the eyes look slightly up to look out. Okay, and again, we'll say, ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and just notice how easy or not so easy that felt. Okay, and now we'll just use the eyes to look right out so that we're kind of scanning the horizon right out, okay? And again, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And again, just notice how did that feel? Which one was easiest? Could you also hear in me one that was easier than the others? I felt like it was number three, and I'm guessing you did too, and here's why. Because in the first one, your head was off your spine this way, which is overstretching the muscles of your larynx around where your vocal folds are. All right, so that makes it harder to produce sound. And then in the second one, you're compressing those same muscles. So again, makes it harder to produce sound. And in the third one, because the eyes are looking out, the head is on top of the spine, which means there's no compression happening in this area, so it makes it easier to make sound. So sometimes when we're thinking about alignment and head being on top of the spine, people can get really caught up with head position and then kind of start doing really strange things to sort of make sure the head is on top of the spine or then feel like they can't move the head. I find it's actually easier to work with the eyes, just noticing that the eyes are looking straight out. And from there, of course, they can move. They don't have to stay looking straight out. And you'll notice that it's actually easier to let the eyes go where they wanna go when they're starting from this place of, I'm scanning the horizon. It's actually easier to let them do that and it's easier for the head to move because it's actually pivoting from the joint that it's meant to be supported by. And when then we're, move, we're, we're talking, we're not compressing or overstretching any of these muscles. So a really nice way to just establish alignment is just to check in with that perspective with the eyes and that's the first part of what the eyes have to do with the voice. Tune in for my next video where I'll, tra I'll talk about another way the eyes have to do with the voice. See you next time. Bye-bye.